step into a new cycle of victory. Our reading Bible verse for today is taken from the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 1. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Beloved, you know, people who believe erroneously that God is hard on them for their failures uh, will inevitably be hard on the people around them. And most of all, they will end up being really hard on themselves. They cannot, they cannot forgive themselves for the mistakes they have made in the past and end up punishing themselves, whether they know it or not. It is a vicious cycle of defeat. The more they can't forgive themselves, the more they hurt themselves with all kinds of behaviors, and the more they end up bound by various destructive addictions. This leads to even more guilt, which, is, which in turn drives them to punish themselves even more, and the cycle continues. But I believe the root cause of many sinful habits, fears, and addictions can be traced to condemnation. I want to talk to you today about going after condemnation as a route to help you receive God's forgiveness in those areas so that you can break out of your cycle of defeats and step into a new cycle of victory. Are you living with some unresolved guilt and condemnation today? I have great news for you. When you realize that God's heart is not in condemnation but in forgiveness, your entire life can be turned around for his glory. So many lives are transformed by just taking a small step of faith to believe in God's grace and receive his forgiveness in their lives. Instead of punishing themselves for their mistakes and disqualifying themselves, these people began to correct their beliefs and receive God's forgiveness by seeing Jesus taking on their punishment. They began to see their Savior qualifying them to receive every blessing from God for their marriages, families, and careers. Right now, I want to encourage you to release the built-up guilt and condemnation for whatever mistakes you have made over the years to the Lord. Will you pray this prayer with me? It is a simple but powerful prayer. I encourage you to pray this prayer every time you feel and experience guilt and condemnation in your heart. Stop punishing yourself. Your answer is found at the cross of Jesus. I promise you that when you turn to Jesus and remind yourself just how forgiven and righteous you are in Christ, every time you fall short, you will start living like the forgiven and righteous person Jesus has made you. Pray with me, Lord Jesus, I don't want to live under guilt and condemnation anymore. Today, I release all my feelings. Today, I release all my sins. Today, I release all my mistakes into your loving hands. And I receive your forgiveness right now into my heart. Thank you for your precious blood that washes me whiter than snow. Right now, I stand in your righteousness. Right now, I stand in your favor. Right now, I stand in your joy and peace. Amen. Shalom. Share this video and bless the soul. Bye-bye.